Hi, this is Sunakshi Sinha. Hi, this is Karan Gill. Download the Bollywood Times app right now. This is not the app, this is a card. <laughs> Journalism can be described in two words. It's pretty yet pretentious. Ladies and gentlemen, I have today my guests Sonakshi Sinha and Kanan Gill. I'm pretty and he's pretentious. <laughs> also, there are three words. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty yet pretentious. <laughs> I want to I wanna ask you both. Is this movie really questioning the ethics of journalism and a journalist? In some parts, but uh, why not? Because uh, that is the profession that she is in. Mm. Uh, more than questioning uh, the ethics of journalism, it's her questioning herself and her ethics, and what she, what extent she would go to to get a story out mm. there, mm. Uh, the things that she would do, the mistakes that she makes, and how she kind of uh, goes out of the way to make it right. Yeah. Uh, to undo her wrongs and I think it's a, it's basically the journey of a girl um, her through her relationships through her profession through life basically maneuvering through life and I think that in a way is what the movie is all about okay Kanan yeah how would you describe what is this standard patent description of the protagonist's best friend I don't know man, uh, the patent description that I would use probably be a mean one, <laughs> but no. since this is me, I would say just outstanding performance. He's a go-to guy. guy. Yeah. Are, you, are you talking for yourself or her? Huh? <laughs> You're talking for yourself? Oh, for myself. Okay. Yeah. No, but uh, the character I play in the movie is a guy called Saad, who is Noor's mm. childhood friend. Yeah. And uh, in the film, more than a best friend, he really serves as the voice of reason yeah. in her life because she gets out of line quite a bit. <laughs> and so it's kind of his responsibility to make sure she doesn't float too far away in her right. ambitions and when she has a tough time he's always there to help her out. Yeah. You know I was just YouTubing a few videos and I really uh, wonder uh, in a very surprising mode that you know Robin Williams and Louis C.K. and uh, we don't want to name the other, actually let's name Bill Cosby uh, and various others, mm -hmm. uh, Steve Martin, they all were stand-up comedians, yeah. uh, Jim Carrey as well yeah, yeah. and how they made Hollywood a fruitful profession for them, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know. Kanan, is this also venturing into that path where you would, this this won't be like a one trip pony, right? Uh, well, it's interesting that you say that because in the West, that's the order in which things work. It's very weird. Yeah. There's a lot of people who get into stand up and the goal is to get a TV show or a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they've gotten into stand up. Mm -hmm. For me, I think I can honestly do both. <laughs> <laughs> I really had fun doing this movie and I'm quite okay. proud of how it's come out. Okay. Um, but at the same time, Love doing stand up. <laughs> does it, uh, you know, because you guys write your own, uh, you know, scripts yeah, when you're performing. Yeah. Uh, how does it then make a difference when you actually read a script that is okay? Can I just do the bloody improv, man? Please. <laughs> the moment action is shouted. Well, yeah, they did let me yeah. <laughs> yeah. do it in a couple of places. But honestly, if you, if when you agree to do something like this, it's because you've already trusted the script. Yeah. And you're like, this is good as mm. it is. I'll try to put in a joke here or there. <laughs> if no, you let me. But other than that. Because I think that everybody who was casted in the film was casted because of their personality, how they yeah. are. In real life. In real life. Yeah, nice. And because all the characters are so real. So even when uh, our director Sunil gave me and me or him, uh, you know, the option of improvising, it was mm. because we are so much like the characters yeah. in some way or the other. And he wanted to get that uniqueness, he wanted to get that, nice. um, you know, individuality in the characters that we are playing. Mm -hmm. So, he, we were really allowed to do a lot of fun stuff. Is this a good phase character. also in Indian cinema where, you know, when you see a trailer like Moor and you really feel, uh, I relate to it because kind of they speak our language, there are no mm -hmm. more dialogues, you know, they are yeah. spoken language. Yeah. Uh, you think caricatured characters are passe now in Indian cinema? Uh, well, I think it depends on uh, film to film as well. I mean, of course, if you're playing like a really uh, unrealistic character, then you have to. Yeah, you have to. Uh, but I guess, yeah, people like, like cinema has changed over the last couple of years. The kind of movies that the audiences want to see have changed in the last couple of years. What they are more accepting to has changed in the last couple of years. So, uh, yes, it's definitely, a, it's moving in a good direction in a way that you can't really mm -hmm give them crap and expect them to be like are wah 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 you have to give them something that's worth their money and uh, so yeah i think it's turning yeah, for the better what satisfies both of you as performers artists and what doesn't applause breaks <laughs> <laughs> get up and they're like yeah yeah really? this is what did we that wanted happen to you? huh did that happen to you every shot where <laughs> <laughs> really? you weren't there really <laughs> all my solo shots <laughs> 
and uh, even no no he's very good the <laughs> the ability to just you when you feel like you've done justice to what you had to do and it also helps if someone you respect comes and tells you like that was good yeah. yeah nice yeah what about you yeah i guess when your work is appreciated that is what you end up working for uh everything else that follows all the fame the adulation is all i guess secondary but it's yeah. when you feel like you know just the pat on the back mm. is is always Motivation nice to have that. yeah okay you, you can do one thing you can describe him in a hashtag so say kanangil is equal to hashtag what Desi oh. Kalagar. Oh, well done. I've made it. I've been trying to push myself as Desi Kalagar for the longest time. Can't get. Sonakshi Sinha. The, 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 the real deal. The real deal. Yeah. yeah. The real deal. Good one. Yeah. Well done, man. Well, yeah. you just give another title for our next song. The real deal. Yeah, you why not? Great rap video. Copyright yeah. it. So I want to know, what's the most weirdest questions you guys have faced in your careers from a journalist? It's Funny, your first weird. time. that you been yeah, uh, you know, know. You interacting with journalists before but yeah, yeah in a but movie not yes like a movie in not in a movie so. he's faced yeah. a, quite a few the no normally it's not weird oh i got the weirdest question yesterday oh my god what? and i didn't even bother reading the other question so i asked for an interview on email because i've been running around oh. for promotions like crazy so and they sent me an email with the question the first question was ha huh. You are considered to be one of the most beautiful uh, actresses in the Bollywood film industry. And uh, do you sometimes feel that your beauty is your rival? Beauty is your rival. Great question. What does that even mean? Kanan, please elaborate. Uh, well, <laughs> good. Well, good spotted. I wrote is the question. Is your beauty your rival? <laughs> it is. I find it very hard. Yeah. People can't get over my beauty, and I'm like, guys, I've just come here to be a performer. Like what? <laughs> oh God. Sometimes I. Well, I've got uh, recently the movies. You're not some and interesting questions. And that is questions. exactly the kind of journalist that Noor does not want to be. Yeah. <laughs> very much. That's very much what she's trying to avoid. Yeah. Our company is trying to push her into asking. Yeah. <laughs> So these kind of questions like but no she doesn't want to do it yeah, she wants to do it yeah. i got aap kya maqsad se aaye hain bollywood maqsad yeah, yeah well, that was aap kya maqsad se aaye like i had some evil plan <laughs> to set fire to something yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. i have a plan now i'm going to give you guys both a surprise yay there's no guessing which who who's going to take what color yeah. i want the blue <laughs> <laughs> wow! Really? <laughs> okay, yeah. great. Shattering stereotypes right here. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh my god! Damn it! Why did I break the stereotype? <laughs> you, you chose the pink. <laughs> <laughs> And this is, this is exactly it. what I want. I love it. Hundred ideas that change film. This is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I think you should keep that. But thank I'm you so much. This. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> But tell me a movie because the title says Hundred Ideas That Change. That change film. Film by David Parkinson. I'll flip it. Which is that movie that changed the way you perceive entertainment? Oh, there's been many. Once in a while, you watch a film and it comes along, and you're like, "Oh, you can do that." Hmm. As possible. I had a wow moment. I just, I don't know why this stuck so strongly in my mind. It's the first time I saw a movie called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it. No, it's I based on a graphic novel, and they've just adapted the graphic novel landscape into a film. And I just saw it, and I was like, "You can do this. Yeah. You can put <laughs> visual effects <laughs> like this. Yeah. They kill people, and coins come out, <laughs> and it's just like..." Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mind blowing thing for me. That in a film called Tropic Thunder where they make oh, fun yeah. of pre rolls in the movie. Yeah. They make fun of the entire industry. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. The black guy? <laughs> the black guy. Yeah. Yes. So what about you? A movie that really kind of stuck with you for years and years and years. I think um it started off with uh, Noor I think. <laughs> uh, will also be added to the list but uh, I think movies like Three Idiots, hmm. movies like um uh, Dangal, basically Amir Khan's every movie. <laughs> yes, uh, I think they really just stay with you. Amir Khan, if you're watching yeah. this, yeah. please. Yeah, no, I feel like that is that is really you know good good cinema. And other than that, like in the last year, a film like Urta Punjab, which comes out of nowhere and Oof. just like makes you sure. sit up and take notice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is the kind of film that changes perspectives for you, right? Yeah. Were you instrumental in bringing the concoction of Diljit Dosanjh and Bacha together huh. for for this? I always <laughs> wanted Bacha to do a song for the film. Uh, mm. When we were uh, in the initial stages of shooting, I kept telling my producer, "Oh, we should get Bacha and all. He's like, he's going to make a fantastic yeah. song, and you know, we should definitely put it in the film." But that happened after the film was done, and then you know, we said uh, they came up and they're like, "You know what? Mm. Let's get Bacha." 
Bacha wanted Dilji to sing. So he came on board. Then there were a couple of lines for the girls. So okay, you do it. <laughs> so this entire collaboration just happened like yeah. by chance, and I'm really glad that it happened because it's a, a fantastic song, and I'm so happy to be a part and of it. And even Oof, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think there's something about that song that reminds me, and I think the only song that gives me that kind of a vibe yeah. is Dil Chahta Hai Dial Drag. Yeah. 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 Wow. wow. And then Oof, you know. Yeah. Right, yeah. It, it, it's very it's, breezy. Yeah. Um, it just makes you happy. Yeah, it makes you yeah, happy, it right? It's happy. a happy yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's what. Fantastic. I'm going to read headlines, okay. which are a bit kind of, you know, pun intended. Okay. And you will guess or probably just name a celebrity that fits that headline. Okay. Ah, you can okay. guess in trouble. Okay, to you first. Tiger puts the balls in the wrong place again. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah, good one. Okay. Good save. Okay. Okay. <laughs> also, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Coffee before quickie. Yeah. Definitely the Kanan Gill story. Yeah. No, Kanan Gill story. Kanan Gill story. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. <laughs> they see me rolling. They see me rolling. Me. So next thing. She'll be so happy. <laughs> yeah. And the last one. May you be with the force. John Abraham, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Why did I take that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice one, nice one. I generally ask this question nowadays in the interviews. I want to know, is Indian movies short of good directors or good writers? Um, I don't think we're short of anything. Mm-hmm. As in, yeah, I think just, sometimes the uh, right the connections end, are Yeah, it's just the right yeah. concoction and yeah. what goes into which movie, right? So it's very individual to every movie. And uh, you, yeah, like for instance you could have a good director but a really crappy writer so or there's yeah. one really good story and you have a bad director who can't execute mm-hmm. it so it just or you have just a good director right. and a good writer and it's still bad. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, is also that's possible, possible. Also yeah. Rare, so, yeah, yeah so i guess you have to just get the right combination of people in the right film mm. and that's that's i guess when it becomes magic so what is the most surprising element when you read the screenplay or your character that one thing that really stuck with you when you read it just the fact that it was so real and so relatable mm-hmm. there were so many times um the feedback that i've gotten after the trailer is the exact feedback that i gave sunil sippy when i heard the script nice nice um was that oh my god this is me mm-hmm. and you know everybody would be able to connect with her in some way or the other and honestly i kid you not he narrated the script to me he everyone the ninth floor he reached down from ninth to ground and i had called him by the time he reached the ground floor and told him i'm doing your film Wow. So I did not even blink before uh, saying yes to this film because I immediately made a connect with the character mm-hmm. and every other character in the film because it was just so real. It was like this could happen to anyone. This could be anyone that I know. Which was this building with ten floors? <laughs> Your house? Yeah. Didn't you come? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Um, I. Uh, But you, uh, we only called you to the fifth. Listen, Ooh. I didn't know that the whole <laughs> the thing was a house. <laughs> I just thought it was an yeah. apartment complex. I was like, no. which floor? They were like, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the whole building. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, you have for, to earn it to come up. You have to come up? You have to earn floor-wise? Earn okay, it. I got till five. Yeah. Give me six months. <laughs> I'll reach nine. Um, for me, actually, it must be slightly unorthodox, but the first scene that was narrated to me was the end of the film. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah? And yeah that's you mean f- end of the film or in, like your scene? Okay, okay, it's, it's... I mean... Okay, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's the first thing that was narrated to me. Right. And just that one, the way Sunil described it, the way he... And the kind of references he had for this is like this. Mm. And every film he named and every actor, I was like, that's, our sensibilities are completely in line. So that's why I knew like this is something I wanted to do. Yeah. He's a debutant director. No, it's a second film. Uh, it's a second film. He made his first film like some 17 years back. Wow. And yeah. And then he's been making amazing ads for those 17 years. In fact, In fact my yeah, first, first ad, ad film was directed by Sunil Sippy. Wow. My That's first ever ad. Do yeah. you think ad filmmakers have a different vision as film directors? Yeah, I mean, they definitely come from a different school of film making, right? Like mm-hmm. to fit an entire story into 30 seconds and 45 seconds is no, not an easy task. And uh, I just feel... Um, all the ad directors that I have worked with, they just have a slight, like more of an eye for detail. Mm. They're very, very particular about detail. And uh, that just, if a director is, you know, kind of hell-bent on detail, you know he's an ad filmmaker. Yeah, so, also, I mean, nobody 
I think everybody really wants to make films anyway. Yeah. Nobody's like, oh, I'm going to make ads. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> but uh, everybody but has... It's a, film. It's, a, it's a film in a way. They call it an ad film. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, so, I mean, Sunil, you can tell the whole time. It was just like maybe preparing for the big... For the... <laughs> for making you know his dream I asked which him i think this, this no, is no he said he really enjoys making ads so that's why no, he's I didn't saying he, he doesn't didn't, like making ads he didn't he didn't even like talk okay. about but doing generally it. if you are an ad filmmaker leave yeah. there is no comments for <laughs> <laughs> say no, it out loud to yourself most of the directors kind of you know uh, make lot of tvcs anyway hmm. even rajkumar hirani for that yeah, yeah 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 great okay we're going to play a game okay we'll just okay. give it the chop yeah ready never have i ever performed on stage with a hangover You have. Okay, she's stuck in time. Never. Oh, never. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on my answer. <laughs> never have I ever used a cheeky pickup line. Mm, never. No, no. No. What can? What? What? What's a cheeky pickup line you've heard? But I've used. Uh, somebody has used on me. Yeah. What I lost my number. Can I have yours? <laughs> Eight. Oh, you can't. Uma. Never have I ever been mistaken for someone else. I have. <laughs> hmm? I have, I have also. Just not, not yeah. on a big scale. Just like, oh, you're that guy. No, nope. just at some party, someone's friend. You're that guy. <laughs> yeah. That guy. Yeah. You're that guy. That guy is pretty. That guy from okay. yeah. Oh, just yesterday, we were getting into the car and that guy was following me. He said, "Anushka, ma'am, photo, Anushka." <laughs> I told him, "Pehle naam to seek le." But uh, on the high side, I thought, okay, maybe I've lost that much weight that he's mistaking for <laughs> <laughs> Anushka. Now. There's so much of newspaper headlines that actually yeah. talk about it. Huh. of noor the film i really like the design of it it's actually make you know yeah it is like a headline right it's like a front page of yeah yeah that yeah. the whole the poster and everything is yeah. so cool yeah, yeah you know yeah. and then the tiny bits you see okay who's on the top yeah, left and top right oh, damn that's, that's like canon yeah cool. just like if you zoom in <laughs> take a magnifying glass also there <laughs> yeah oh, okay cool. never ever ever gone on a bad blind date I was trying to throw like a pen cap on my friends who were sitting on the first bench, but it went and hit the teacher. Oh! But fortunately for me, nobody saw me do it, so nobody could complain. So I went scot free, but my teacher was very upset. So I still feel very bad about She it. She knows now. It was you. I hope not. I was. Uh, I used to draw on the desks, okay, yeah, and know. I was. I had drawn on many desks, mm -hmm. and like I'm talking about full illustrations, okay, the entire desk, not just writing your name. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a couple of uh, the teacher came in and like, okay, who's done this? Right. The entire class will have to pay for it right. if the person doesn't own up. Right. So I stood up. And she's like, okay, Kanan, is there anyone else involved? Mm -hmm. And I just pointed to a random guy <laughs> who had nothing to do with it. Oops. <laughs> and sorry. I feel very bad about it. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> feeling bad about lots of things. A lately. lot of things. <laughs> oh. Please specify them. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Later? It's too funny. No, don't. No. no? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Ever have I ever Googled myself for more than half an hour? Not for more than half. Not for oh, more they... than. Not for no, more no. than half an hour. Yeah, I you have Google. though, but not. For more than half an hour. Just usually I see the yeah you see the first page of results and you're like yeah yeah whatever. I don't know what I expected. You never Google not yourself. for half an hour. Okay fine. I have Google myself yes of course. Never have I ever seen a movie the second time because I didn't get it the first time. No. Oh. I have I have Inception. Nolan movies yeah. 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 Many movies. There's a movie called Primer that was very big in college. Primer. But it's about time travel. Oh. Okay great. We watched it five times. We lost. I had to go go to the Wikipedia page. They have a flow chart of how the movie works, and then I understood it. <laughs> okay, I want to talk. The game's over. Well oh. played. Really? Thanks, man. Just when we were. Ah, yeah, I feel like I nailed it. Enjoying. <laughs> I'll ask you which. Uh, anyway, superhero or heroine you would like to play? Wonder Woman, but she's already been playing. Played. Played by someone else right now. Mm, so yeah. It's maybe um, Catwoman. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. But historically not a successful franchise. Just okay. letting you know. So maybe we can like revive it. <laughs> Reboot it in India. Yeah. You know, Billy I look Earth. good in a cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in today's day and age, journalism is more about back then it was about get the truth and we'll print it. Now it's about get the money and we'll print it. 
I mean, it's that's the difference. Is you it? Know? <laughs> you I mean, tell me. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, that's called advertorial written. Which yeah. Every, yeah, that word doesn't exist in yeah, any dictionary. Yeah, advertorial. It yeah. does now. It, yeah. It, yeah. So, uh, how much of it? Like, you guys read the papers, you know, the mm. reviews, and I'm not talking pr- just entertainment-wise. There are columnists who write great, uh, you know, uh, pieces. Uh, but you think a paper, a newspaper, has still that much of power uh, that it, you know, uh, had years ago? um i don't think so also because there are so many now and uh, <laughs> yeah so and everybody has things. a different opinion and a viewpoint on right. the matter that they are probably presenting which mm-hmm. is not what the media is supposed to do you're supposed to show facts and right. figures and not have a personal bias or opinion on what you're reporting about mm-hmm. uh, and definitely what the truth is so I think, um, yeah, I, I don't think it just, I just feel like there's a lot of scope for improvement or going back to how it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I mean, it's, if you can't salvage the old days because there's one source of information, which is the newspaper. Now everybody right. can start their own website and print it without knowledge, facts or yeah. many, many cases, yeah. ethics. Or confirmation. Yeah. And you can just print stuff. And I, I don't think, so as a society, we've adjusted to the fact yet that things that look like articles are not necessarily yeah. valid yeah. or are properly researched. It just comes on the internet, five things that I happened to me today. And, <laughs> and you'll say, well, it must be true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this with a cliche question. You oh, must have love been it. asked love by cliche every journalist questions. or probably your yes. friends or whoever. Ha. Is pretentious, honest review of Noor? Yeah. Dengue up? Of course. Good. Yeah, of 100%. Course. That is the first YouTube video coming yeah. out. No doubt. I, I, I'll also be there in the video. Oh yeah, actually, you know what? You haven't got a celebrity guest appearance I'm in any of your videos. I'm going to replace this This can be the first. <laughs> and I'm going to sit down be. with a knife in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> under the table. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> if he's out of line, I'll be like... Oh. Electrodes attached yeah. to my neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was very nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for gracing Bollywood. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, man. God bless Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Thank and you thank you for gift. this. Yeah. I'm also keeping the slates. <laughs> Just help me get a cab outside. Hi, this is Karan Gilda. Hi, this is Sunakshi Sinha, and you're watching Bollywood Times with Devansh Patel.